Hello viewers, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the telecast of Porter's House Christian Mission in Badon, Nigeria. It promises to be a time of blessing, a time of revelation in the presence of God. As we bring you today's episode of What Says the Scriptures. Frustrated that declaration. Kilo saw in Tolua saw it dia kurete nore. What is the fire extinguisher? Kine pana pana na that extinguished that in Jacob's life. So pine ele ni no aye Jacob. Will God speak and it will not come to pass? Olon wa sorobi la ni mo wa si muse. Why shall I hide from Abraham that which I do? When I know he's going to become a great nation. And in him, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. I don't like pretending that I know when I don't know. It doesn't work. It doesn't pay me. Because those who could have helped me will not help me. Because I have pretended as if I know. And yet, nothing. Then they said, Do you have anybody apart from you here? Have you produced songs? Go and call them. We're destroying this city now. They didn't tell him initially why they came. It was the provocation of the people. That was when they had to announce to Lot. So I ask, why keeping such from Lot? Because in him was no blessing to the earth. You don't understand. That God said to Jacob by himself. It was not the angels ascending and descending that spoke to Jacob. The Almighty Himself who stood at top of that ladder. He swore by Himself. Indeed. In thy seed, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. And it's because God saw something in Jacob that can bless the entire heart. But I trace his history. Only his seed. I want manifested that blessing. There was not a time that Jacob did something with a global consequence. What frustrated that declaration? What is the fire extinguisher? that extinguished that in Jacob's life. Will God speak and it will not come to pass? Is it that God was not serious? Could he be joking? No. Could he He wasn't. He meant everything he said. Oh, you know, 
Sugauma. When he finished, when God finished telling Jacob everything, he said, Look, all the things we know they talk. I had. But if you will be with me in this journey that I am going, and you give me food and clothes, and you bring me back to my father's house. My father's house. I don't, I don't understand all that one. Families of the earth. I have a family. Don't you know if I come back there and I become the heir, then you will be my God. God must have done like this. I look for a wrong man. I look for a wrong man. I you notice that God never struggled with him. He went on that journey. Eliezer Elias, Eliasari, the slave of his grandfather. Eru Babare, Baba Babare, went to the same place. Olosi bikana. Twenty-four hours. La ane wakati meji lelo meri lelo gu. He had finished everything. On bobo tofeshe onlo yajue. This Jacob, a son. Jacobu ti si oma went to the same house it was not two days it was not 20 days it was not two years it was not 10 years it was not 15 years it took him 20 years because he went without god it was there that seed died. Nirupin tabi rutin benen oreti ku for his own life. Fuaye tonti kalara. Was still a young man. Odoko nene. There was time for what God said concerning him to come to pass. Ako kumbe fu olon pe intolon sokole wasi moshe. It was not a statement that came to him in his old age. He was still in the single brother's fellowship. That's a young man. Just like you. Or many of you here. The future was still lying waiting for him. God said, I showed to a man what I do when it is in that man to be a blessing to the earth. So when God wanted to do something that will touch the whole world, He saw it ahead. Ati Mari, look at it. It's all right. That's okay. Oda was such. Like a mawa. Who will I show? Tani mofi ham. What I do? Oti moveshi. At that time, ni a koko ji the closest man to God. Eni to sumo olon ojulo was Jacob. Oni Jacob. He was the head of the clan Israel. He was carrying on his head the covenant of Abraham. 
ma je mu ti a se pelu abraham be lori re god looked at his house olorun si wo ile re he looked at him owo say yes oni be ni he carries my covenant was his empty of what can touch the world then he saw a small boy as his searchlight settles on that boy he said I can show secrets to this this one carries something I hope you know that Joseph was not the heir of Jacob. Jacob, Arole. Arole. Jacob. I hope you know. Sema. He wasn't. He wasn't. He didn't need anything from Jacob to become what God wanted him to become. God saw something in him and God felt mm. if I allow Jacob to raise this boy he will raise him down he will transfer him to him that narrow mindedness that, that made him to waste the dream I showed to him at Bethel. He started by misinterpreting the dream of Joseph. He took it to Allah Joseph. He said, Shall I and your mother? So Totumas in the way, Amy at him, Mamma was Raquel alive at that time? I read it. I said, What's this man talking about? Why would you say, Can you buy Jacob? Sorry, this man talking about? Why would you say, Can you buy Jacob? Sorry, what is it? Can you want so? Raquel, you know, sorry, what am I? Say, my terrible food. Say, with Rachel, just come out from the grave and be buying that for him. I'll be Joseph, who need me. Or does it mean that Joseph had another wife, another I, woman, another I, mother? I read that verse. I reread it. I reread it. I reread it. Re it. I don't understand what this old man is talking about. <laughs> it is only the childishness that can affect you, not the old age. Baba, we be. <laughs> and you see SRE. as soon as God saw that he checked he was looking for partners I was just wondering in my heart what are you looking for he was looking for partners. His compass moved. His searchlight moved. And he saw a heart far away in Egypt who possessed the kind of heart he was looking for. He located that young man. Owari Odoma Kone. Who? Anything in in about thirteen years time. Be ni Odoma talasi ba yi. Will become a king. Tio Dioba. And God said, I need to navigate Joseph towards him. Mogo do to Joseph usi ona biti ogba Dioba yi. And he steered the heart of Jacob. Send this boy for me. And Jacob didn't know. Jacob 
Say Joseph. Joseph who? Josie, Josie. Josie. And I will say, Daddy, I'm here. Baba, I'm today. Anything said? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. I Amen. want to send you to go and check your brothers. And you know Joseph. He didn't even think well. He didn't even think twice. He just entered into his wardrobe. It was his best clothes. And he was going to the farm. What will the farmer go and do in the farm with with a suit? Coat of many colors. Loco. I want to go to Oris Tonyo. Oris Risi Awo. No one will also go. He looks very unserious. What a big backpack out here. Mantonche. God was waiting for him. Alone sitting duro de. God was after him. Alone on top of the car. God saw in him what can touch the world. God saw in this teenager, 17 year old boy, something that his father did not have. His father looked like a spent grain. And here was a life burden. Here was a life bubbling with life. Fresh, young, full of zest. His eyes were set like the flints. God said, I cannot afford to waste this. If he stays with Jacob, he will be wasted. Now, I am not disparaging Jacob. Please. I dare not. I am drawing issues for you that we may learn all of the brothers of Joseph that grew with Joseph, that Bo, grew with Jacob. Who among them did exploit? Unless they kill. There is there was none of them. They learned deception from their father. God knew that Jacob will be, Joseph will be corrupted. Why should God send you to that university? Why should God connect you to discipleship? Why didn't he leave you where you were? He has something he has seen in your life. And he feels if he should leave you where you were, you'll be wasted. Am I communicating at all? It's a journey, I told you. And we are going to go through it under God, trusting Him to help us to understand that the world will be doomed without us. The stakes are high. The stakes are high. The expectation. It's not irreti as it were. Eh? What do you call it, sir? It's like or atom benle I don't it's know how to say it. Like what is on ground is just too too great. The risk of not becoming 
blessings to the earth. <laughs> It's unquantifiable. You cannot afford to waste divine investment in your life. The loss will be colossal. Don't you understand? God, smuggle yourself out. And you know this this master architect. Master strategist. Looked through the whole land of Egypt. How do I connect this boy to the king? He look for somebody so close to the king in terms of security. It was Potiphar. And Joseph landed there. Joseph is see Said just 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 be hiding there. When Pharaoh dreamed. And Joseph said, Joseph, while we pay, the Lord had shown unto Pharaoh what is about to do. But I was saying, Lord, why won't you show it to Jacob what you want to do? Why Pharaoh? An uncircumcised king. God have mercy on me. The food that belongs unto me, don't give it to the dog. How will God have a man like Jacob? And went after Pharaoh. If God made the mistake of showing that dream to Jacob, He will have said, Oh Lord, if we just allow my own family to have food, you'll be my God forever. Very narrow minded. Very narrow minded. I am praying that in this meeting, the Lord will knock down all narrow mindedness in your heart. What, what went wrong with Jacob? Is he thinking that he cannot touch the walls? Or is thinking that God lacks the ability to perform? introduce this great book unto you one more time single without sin is a must read 
It's about rediscovering the truth concerning marriage. It's not just for the singles, it's for the married. Do you know the purpose of marriage? You will find it well laid out here according to the word of God. Why God created marriage? It will amaze you that marriage is what God created for you to be what God ordained you to be. All the animals, including human beings that came into the ark of war, came in in twos and God said to keep them alive. So marriage keeps a man alive and especially when it's a godly one. And I'd like to say to you that you have found some people who are not godly and who are doing well in their marriage. You find a, 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 a chapter here on good couple but bad people analyzing the marriage of Ahab and Jezebel his wife. Very beautiful couple but bad people. You can't copy such. There's a template for marriage in the Bible and you need to read this book. It will surely bless you. You find chapters like grooming the groom, grooming the reed. All those that will make you to understand what God wants to do and it's a wonderful book, wonderful foundation for marriage. You find, you find, you find discovering the appointed one. You see a lot of things that will be of help to you. I know you have read many books on marriage. You need to read this one. It will charge your heart. It will change your lifestyle. Thank you. God bless you. You can find it. You see the address on the screen where you can get this book. It's a folly. Thank you. One more time. This program was brought to you by Potter's House Christian Mission, Bedfatch, Alaksa Village, of Ijebu de Ibadan Road, Adebayo Idia Yure, Ibadan, Nigeria. We believe that the Lord has richly blessed and challenged your heart by today's telecast. For further inquiries, prayers, and counseling, please contact us on... Bless you.